It's been a busy month with new awesome projects hitting the markets, so I thought it was due time to keep everyone up to date on the more significant projects that are fresh to hit crypto markets worldwide. BitZ, which is currently number 11 on the top crypto exchanges list according to the 24-hour volume on CoinMarketCap.com, has its native token now trading. Being a high-volume exchange, this release could be significant. Could be exciting if it follows the curve of other exchange coins out there. If its market cap seems low once supply is released, it probably is. Currently trading at 21 cents. Saifu, which means wallet in Japanese, is a prog-based project that aims to make crypto use easy and accessible through its app, which is a fully regulated fiat and crypto bridge. It's easy, safe, and compliant, which could turn into mass adoption. SFU is snafu'd at just 5 cents right now, so there could be room for growth, especially with adoption of the Saifu app. Out of Estonia, Mossland, which looks like a gamified version of Arcona, with gaming combined with AR and VR real estate. It appears to be a hosting platform for location-based games for developers. This could actually be pretty huge if games are fun if and when AR takes off in the real world. Currently trading at 6 cents, BKTB or B News aims to be the most objective information available online for crypto information and value discovery. Featured on Cointelegraph, this crypto is fresh on markets on the 12th of July and is currently trading at 0.69 cents. Data Exchange aims to be a market to buy and sell data generated from sensors. Could be huge with the oncoming smart cities and IoT industry 4.0. DTX tokens are now trading at 5.5 cents and looks like it might be off to the races anytime. ORS Group out of Switzerland is a marketplace to buy and sell AI algorithms and also a means for professionals to monetize their knowledge and experience. ORS is listed on Binance, which is significant. Notably, ORS has introduced hypercontracts, which activate powerful algorithms to solve complex efficiency slash optimization problems by utilizing data stored on-chain by independent decentralized organizations, and can also release instant crypto payments. ORS is now trading at just 4.6 cents and is most likely the bottom for this awesome project. Essentia aims to bring interoperability between different blockchain platforms and is already integrated with a wide variety of blockchains. Now trading at just 2.2 cents, Essentia is most likely finding a bottom right now and will possibly boost over the next couple of weeks. Just as Augur goes online this week, another prediction market token has launched on the markets. Seer utilizes the Graphene Toolkit. The difference here is that you have to participate to see the prediction stats. Seer is trading at 0.6 cents and appears to possibly be stabilizing into a nice flat line. Project PAI seeks to let users create their personal avatar intelligence, an online entity which based on data acts just like the owner of the PAI and acts on its own. I can see this going horribly pear-shaped in a number of ways and could be very entertaining. We might see a digital version of Michael Keaton's multiplicity should the rules governing our digital avatar's behavior not actually work. PAI tokens are trading for 98 cents and are at a historic low. Mainframe is the platform for decentralized applications, resistant to censorship, surveillance, and disruption. The mainframe network enables any application to send data, store files, manage payments, run tasks, and more. Mainframe already has a working app, which is like Slack, but contains the core qualities of mainframe. MFT tokens are trading for about 1.5 cents, and with just a $32 million market cap, has room to grow. This tech will have large appeal to the crypto community of developers due to its quality. The OnLive platform revolutionizes both the video broadcast and remote consultations markets. A live consultation market for experts and clients to connect is the main feature and very cool. Looks like this curve is stable and ONL tokens are trading for just 6.8 cents right now. Zinc simplifies, accelerates, and reduces the cost of the hiring journey for workers and recruiters within the technology sector. Focusing on the tech industry, this project will most likely garner major adoption. It looks like Zinc may have bottomed out and is currently trading at 13 cents. Dorado is an on-demand delivery service set to disrupt this industry worldwide. Already functioning for three years, Dorado hails itself as the Uber for on-demand deliveries. It appears to be reaching a historic low and is currently trading at 1.2 cents. 
Gratia, under development for four years, is touted as being the world's first HTML5 blockchain developer's platform. As a platform, and possibly in its own class, this release could be significant. Trading at almost one cent, and clearly on a bull trend, this could pop at any time. ZeroChain is now trading on markets and claims to be a fast, flexible, and free blockchain platform for cloud-based apps. Significant partnerships in the cryptosphere indicate that ZeroChain has potential. With a current market cap of $16 million, this could be very cheap for a platform, and it's trading at a historic low of $0.41. Cents. Energy Token incentivizes you for reducing your energy consumption. I haven't looked into why you would want to purchase this token, but any tech that promotes wise energy use is notable and important. Currently trading at half a cent, it appears that energy may have stabilized and could start boosting. Bitwatt is an energy arbitrage and exchange which creates a decentralized service for energy supply, billing and balancing that both decentralizes and streamlines energy trading. Bitwatt is trading at about 4 cents and has had a nice week of growth. GoChain is a smart contract platform that will be a thousand times more energy efficient, faster and more decentralized than Ethereum. Trading at 7 cents, GoChain has had a great month seeing almost 5x return from low to peak over this time. Sentinel Protocol looks a lot like Swarm and is very cool. It incentivizes the cooperative effort to keep networks and devices safe from malware. The result is a crowdsourced threat intelligent platform to protect you from hacks, scams and malware. Sentinel saw a lot of excitement upon launch almost one month ago and is now trading at 0.67 cents. And by far the top project to hit markets this month is Carblock. With significant partnerships in the auto industry, Carblock is the world's first blockchain-based transportation solution built on data generated by smart devices. This circulation of car data on the blockchain is set to disrupt the entire connected car industry. This will no doubt be a massive and significant project. Carblock is flatlining at 2.2 cents and will no doubt start boosting at some point due to its high level of usefulness and almost ubiquitous partnerships in the auto industry. Check out any of these coins on coinmarketcap.com to see where they are trading. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Decentral Media introduces you to the people behind the best blockchain projects and also helps you keep track of the top cryptos out of the dozens hitting markets every week now.